was that? It sounded like one of the kittens. My kittens! Where do you think you're taking them? Now oh, it's locked, but a little door won't stop me. Where are you? Where are my kittens? Hmm? What's this? Booby trapped the place. Doesn't matter. Nothing will keep me from you. A few unimaginative traps aren't going to stop me. Nowhere to run now. What? No! Let me out of here right now. <laughs> Get back here with my kittens! Now, oh, I need to find a way through these bars. Or maybe around them. Shh! It's okay! You're safe with me! Let's get you into bed, shall we? There you are. Aren't you glad to see your mama? <coughs> up, up, up. No more tears. Not with mommy here. Oh, how I've always longed to be a mother. Ever since I was a little girl, being a mother was my life's dream. But that couldn't happen right away, so I decided to become a teacher. But not just for any school. Right here at Playcare. It seemed like the perfect fit. I didn't have a child of my own, and my students didn't have parents of their own. We could fill the void in each other's hearts. I was so excited for my first day, but I could have never expected what was about to happen. Oh, hello! Hi, I'm Dog Day. That's a great costume you've got there, sweetheart. It's not a costume. I had no idea my students were smiling critters. At first, I was disappointed that I had them instead of real human children like I dreamed. But there was something special about those critters. It was impossible not to love them. It was nice to meet you. Have a nice day, Mom. I mean, miss the light. But I knew they would never fill the void in my heart that was meant for a child. Thankfully, I met someone. He was handsome, kind, tall, and we had so much in common. Except, how do you feel about kids? Ugh, they're so annoying and so needy. Help me tie my shoes. Why is the grass green? Can we get a puppy? I can never deal with that nonsense. Oh, don't even get me started on paying for college. Well, I love kids. That's why I'm a teacher. Right, about that. Are you sure it's take your short-term boyfriend to work day? It's on the school calendar. Uh, come with me. I knew once he met the smiling critters, his heart would melt and he'd warm up to the idea of children. Glass, there's someone special I'd like you to meet. My boyfriend. Wow, hi, boyfriend. What are these things? These are the smiling critters. They're my students, dear. Ugh. Why do they look so weird? They're not weird, they're sweet. They're just like regular kids. Don't you think they're precious? Uh, not really. I already don't like regular human kids. Creepy stuffed animal kids are even worse. Honey, if you can't let this kid thing go. What? But, but I can't not have kids. Then you'll have to find someone else. I'm sorry. Class is dismissed. I was shattered, but I still had one last chance at motherhood. But even adoption was no longer an option for me. I was sad, I was angry, and all that sadness and anger just got worse until... until those horrible scientists did what they did to me. But then you, three beautiful babies came along. It was the perfect opportunity for me to do what I was always meant to do. 
My life's true mission. Make it stop. Uh, won't you please go to sleep? Oh my, catnap, aren't those the most beautiful kins you've ever seen? Most beautiful and most noisy. Having trouble, I see? Don't get me wrong, I love them, but they need so much from me. They always need the litter box, or they're hungry, or they're crying. I'm only one cat. Oh, then how about I give you a hand? Hello, little baby, hello. I fell in love immediately, and you loved me too. <laughs> but Catnap had other ideas. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's not a good idea to go grabbing someone else's baby, you know. Right, I don't know what came over me, but uh, maybe I could babysit them sometime? Give you a break? You can be on the wait list. Hoppy and Bobby and Baba and Dog Day all asked to babysit first. Of course, I understand. I refuse to let Catnap interfere with my destiny. And if he wouldn't give you to me, then I would take you. And now you're all mine, and you're so happy, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Aren't you happy to be with Mama? You are not their Mama. I heard your messed up story. Mr. Light, I'm sorry that happened to you, but those kittens are mine. If you really love them, you'll let me have them. No, I need them! Don't worry, my little litter, I gotcha. No! My babies! Come back here, Catnap! Ah, she knows the way around this school way better than I do. Maybe I can use my cat-like senses to find a way out. Aha! I knew I could do it! Well, darn it. <laughs> I've caught you in my trap, kitty cats. Tisk tisk, putting your babies in harm's way just so you don't have to give them up? You're the one swinging that mace around. You could at least baby-proof it. Hmm, you're right. I'll do just that after taking care of you. Fine. Hmm? If you want to have them, then fine. Do what you want with me. As long as my kittens stay safe, that's all I care about. R really My babies? I'll never let you go. Indigo, now! Ow, oh, hey! Oh. Great work, kids. Now let's get out of here. Come back, please! All I wanted was to care for someone! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Mr. Light. <gasps> it's obvious you want to help. And I understand that being here in the first place was not your choice. Or any of our choice. If it means that much to you, I could use a babysitter tomorrow night. On one condition. <laughs> No more trying to kill me. Deal. 